Paul here, owner of Folsom Lake Fitness. Today's workout is called the Dumbbell Double Up. And as always, I'm going to run through all of the exercises with you so you can see what they look like. For the first round, we're doing eight exercises, four reps of each, and then each subsequent round, it's going to double. So I'm going to show you the beginner version and then also show you how you can advance those exercises. But for a full description of the workout, make sure to click the link, download the workout, and you'll be off and running. So we are going to start with a warm-up. And so we're going to do 30 seconds of each. And just make sure that we've got the body warmed up from the upper body down to the lower body. So the first thing that we're going to do is something called shoulder pinches. So you're going to get down on all fours. Keeping your arms straight, we're just trying to drive those shoulder blades together, doing something called packing your shoulders, learning kind of how to support your weight here, using your scapula versus just all the load on the shoulder joint. If you're a little bit more advanced, go ahead and pop up on those toes. Got a few seconds here. All right, next one, hip gainers. Bring that left foot forward, hands into the instep, and we're going to make little circles with that back hip. If this is too difficult for you, you can kind of pop up just a little bit here and get a nice good stretch in that back hip. Just make sure to keep your weight back. We're not getting weight over the knee. A couple seconds here. Let's go ahead and switch sides, right foot, hands in the instep, sending all your weight back. If you're feeling pretty tight in the hips, a couple things you can also do here is kind of turning out just a little bit, kind of working up on the top of the hip here, and then you can also turn to the side, and we get a little bit more of, of the oblique. Just a couple of variations there to kind of help open you up. All right, you guys, so next one, let's start warming up those shoulders. We're gonna just do some big circles here, big range of motion. Slow is better here, and just going as wide as you possibly can. And then let's go ahead and speed it up, get a little bit more dynamic. And we'll go ahead and bring it forward now. Big, full range of motion. Good. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into jumping jacks or step outs. So you can start here, just stepping out side to side. If you're a little bit more advanced, go ahead and start adding the jump here. Get nice and wide. And tighten down those abs. And you should really feel your, your belly start to wake up here, getting nice and warm. All right, you guys, last one. We're going to work into air squats and then squat jumps. So you're going to sit down and back like you're sitting into a chair. And then we're going to pull our hips through, squeeze our cheeks on top. Once you've started to get that movement down, add a little bit of speed to it. So as soon as I bring my hips forward, I'm pulling myself down. Good. Perfect. Okay, so that was our warm up. Let's go ahead and start with the workout. So as I said, we're going to do eight exercises, four reps of each. So what I need you to do is get a dumbbell that's fairly heavy. Okay? And for women, if you've been doing this for a while, I would suggest anywhere between 20 to 25. If you're a beginner, you can go body weight and then go up to maybe 12 to 15 pounds. So I've got a 20 pounder here. I'm going to start with reverse lunges, four on each side. So here we go. Stepping back, making sure that my weight is in my heels, not my knees. Feeling this in my glutes, trying to drive that back knee to the ground. Last one here, reverse lunges, done. 
Next time we go right into frog jumps for four, just four reps. Touching down, jumping up, touching down, jumping up. Last one. Good. All right. Next one is going to be our Supermans. So we're going to come down on the ground, feet together. We're going to lift up and squeeze, come back down. We're going three more here. Trying to get the chest and thighs off the ground. And then we're popping up for mountain climbers. Modified version. You're going to just try to step forward for me as far as you can. If you're a little bit more advanced, I want to see you guys getting that foot nice and flat to the outside of the hand. Okay? So there's your four. The next two are going to be the grasshopper burpee and the roll-up. So on the roll-up, modified version here, hands behind the head. And we're going to look up at the ceiling, lead with the chest, coming up, reach, right back down. You're going four there. If you're a little bit more advanced, you're going to grab your dumbbell. You're going to peel your spine off the ground one vertebrae at a time. Come up and press. And you're doing four there for me. Okay. Next one, we're going to go right into grasshopper burpees. Beginner version, you're going to get that butt back, stretch those hamstrings, step back, come down to the ground, back to plank, knee to chest, knee to chest, step, step, stand tall. You're going to do that four times. If you're a little bit more advanced, you're going to jump, touch the foot, jump, jump. Okay, so I'm going to do that three more times with you here. That's two, three, last one, last jump here. Woo! Those are going to be fun to double up. Alright, last two. We got the dumbbell swing and then the deadlift curl and press. So dumbbell swing, if you can, you're going to try to grab it at the end. If you need to go this way, that's okay too. But try to grab it here by the head of the dumbbell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my legs nice and straight. As I swing back, you're going to notice I'm kind of just aiming my hands for my upper thighs. Bringing my glutes forward, explosively squeezing. So that hip thrust is going to be what moves the dumbbell. Four reps. Last one here is going to be our dumbbell deadlift, curl and press. So I'll give you the side view here at first. Get a hinge back, chest nice and tall. Deadlift, standing position, curl, press. Front version here, coming down, chest tall, deadlift, curl, press. So we're going to do four reps here. If you're a little bit more advanced, of course you can add that clean because it's a little bit more efficient. One more for good measure. Okay, so that's going to be the last exercise in your circuit, then you're going to go out for a 200 meter run. If you don't have anywhere to run or if you don't have a treadmill, you're going to just run or jog in place for me for two minutes. Okay? After you're done, take a two minute break. Round two, you're going to double up. So we're doing eight reps of everything. End with the run. Round three, you're doing 16 reps. So you're going to end with a lot of volume. So that is the dumbbell double up workout. Have fun with that. Don't forget to download the workout um, by clicking on the link below. And thanks for watching. In the meantime, love your body. Live life without limits. Thanks for watching.